entitled Fuck You Bambini. It's a painting that was done in the, in the 80s, 88, when a lot of people were doing what I call ugly painting. And this is Kevin here doing this big canvas with uh, a big eyes and a, and a mouth blowing out. And I did his portrait on top of it. So it's kind of like a egotist uh, fighting an egotist where uh, his painting is actually being painted on top of. The last of that series where I was doing art and art, painting art within the paintings himself. And this is my wife and I in Norway, it's 1990, a Norwegian, a good morning Norwegian breakfast uh, with the Alvin Post and the Herald Tribune. Uh, we're in Oslo and I have my Floridian cups and my own art, Bambini 89 at Norway, above us, lightning bolts and planetary bullseyes. You know? This is Angela Idealism, homage to Henry Rousseau. Another, another uh, art painting, art upon art. Angela and I grew up in New York City and we grew up with these paintings by Henry Rousseau at the Museum of Modern Art, and we love Henry's work. He's a big influence of mine, called the Weekend Painter. And I took all my favorite motifs, and I made this new canvas by Henry, and it's called Angela's Dream. So this is a, a, a painting that was actually done outside my house on Dunham Place. I took my Canadian friend, the Min, and we went on a cruise uh, a, a stylistic cruise down to Florida. He's got a ping pong ball in his mouth and uh, that's from all the, the gags that we have done together. And we have these four paintings here, the beaded, eat it, eat it painting, this is the life painting, the Caribbean dream kisses me and the blissness. And these are New York characters in the Caribbean. When I first did these canvases, they just had colors behind them. And now I put the New York characters in the uh, Caribbean. So we have the Beat It, Eat It Girl. By C, Art, take the L from Learn. You have Earn, take the P from Play. You have Lay. She's the bad girl. You have the Blissness Girl. She's the good girl. You have the Caribbean Dream, Kisses Me. That's the girl that looks like the boy. And we have This Is The Life, which is the guy that just is like the girl. I'm a flat painter, and if you look at the, the, the foundation of my work is drawing. So I uh, do a lot of lines, and then I take away the lines, and I start to delineate. So they uh, start out being very sketchy, and, and then I start to delineate, and they become defined. I've been fooling around with the way that I see and so I've been trying to um, keep them uh, I've been having a little bit more fun with uh, not being so perfect and being a little bit more ex exaggerated in form still maintaining the integrity of hands, limbs, faces, mouths Sometimes my work gets into, into paintings like this. I incorporate my lightning bolts sometimes in these, uh, that's a 94 painting. This is Seduce Reduce. Communist green and alarming red. And This one is called not no T with H Dan and G, notwithstanding. This one is called Ein Anthurium. It's about the condos that you see all the time with terraces and you wonder what's behind the terraces and this is exactly what you see behind the terraces. Nudity. Nudity 
is the essence of our lives. Nakedness is real. We just pretend sometimes it's not there.